and there's not a single thing that he can't do now that he could do at 33 years old. I think Tom Brady's focus on preparing makes him unlike anybody else. Let's get something, let's pull something out today. We'll have some fun, we'll beat up on these boys, huh? Some of his massage techniques and stuff like that, it's kind of funny. Avocado ice cream, you know, for me that's a no-go. I'm, I'm gonna go cookies and cream. He hasn't fallen off one single bit. If anything, he's only gained more knowledge and just became better. There's always a method to his madness, and let's just hope he keeps doing it. And there's really no way to spin it. New England has an exceptional offense. Sure, they can amass yardage, ranking in the top five in yards per game and per play, but they turn them into points as well as any team. New England is top five in both scoring offense and scoring inside the two-minute warning, thanks in large part to their red zone and goal-to-go efficiency. Ryan, what do you see from their red zone offense that sets them apart? For me, it's the creativity. For me, it's using different guys to make plays. And you see it from Josh McDaniels and the running back crew. If you watch this team, the things that they do, they're so multiple in the red zone. I think it's amazing. I mean, whether it's Rex, Bur uh, Rex uh, Burkhead, whether it's yeah. James White, if it's Rob Gronkowski, Hogan, Amendola. We've seen so many excellent plays from these guys, and here we go. So you see Rob Gronkowski, he's in the slot. He's doubled by the Denver Broncos. Then you watch him clear it out. He takes the double, and Rex Burkhead comes underneath. Another part that's underrated about this play is Tom Brady throwing the ball in a place where he can catch the ball and have an opportunity to run. Here you see James White. He's gonna come out of the backfield. They're playing a combo coverage. The, the linebacker's inside, the safety is outside. He's gonna give you a little shoulder dip in the inside and then isolate the safety Stay outside. And again, Tom Brady makes a great play. To me, this play was telling. You have James White and Rob Gronkowski, two of the biggest red zone threats for the New England Patriots on one side. Obviously, you're gonna deploy defense that way. Tom Brady is gonna move the defense with his eyes. Now Hogan can clear out to the back of the end zone. The things that Josh McDaniels have done, has done all year are impressive. It's the reason he'll be a head coach on Monday after the game. But to watch him use different people, to watch him deploy different strategies in the red zone has been amazing for this team. Brady always has an outlet in the back of the end Absolutely. zone, doesn't he? Always has somewhere to go. And he said yesterday he knows he's not going to have much time to sit back there and dissect anything because this Eagles defense, they play with a violent style. They are fast and physical. We're here to compete. We're going to be on this world stage with the with the world watching. Uh, we're not here to just, you know, wave and, and smile. We're here to compete. At the end of the day, it's still a football game. I mean, of course, you know, the stage is bigger. There's more cameras, of course, but at the same time, the graphics still green. Football way is the same. Numbers and hats are in the same spot. Fly, Eagles, fly on the road to victory. Man, I don't know. I like chocolate chip ice cream a lot. I really kind of like, oh, I mean, look at me, man. There's not a kind of ice cream I don't really like. This match was a gift from my guy from Mexico. He told me uh, if I put this on, then I would have superpowers. This is going to be a great game. And uh, certainly one of the big matchups will be, you know, Tom against our defense. And you have to know Eddie Simpson is for sure. Uh, knowing that, you know, Tom is going to look for him just because he has big player busy at all times. Yeah, I don't know who, to, who quite has the Gronk body type on our defense, but... Uh, uh, I think that's what makes him special. You can't take it easy on the GOAT. He's uh, he's he's a hell of a dude and a hell of a player. This time of the season, uh, I don't think nobody can call us underdogs. There's two two teams left uh, about to play in the Super Bowl. Uh, no way we're underdogs right now. I mean, I think the swag starts with the head coach because I think if the head coach got swag, then the players going to have swag. We're a resilient bunch. You know, we really don't care about the circumstances. We don't care. Uh, about the environment, you know, we we enjoy competing. All right, man. Listen, if we if we win a Super Bowl, your face is getting tattooed somewhere. They have versatility. <laughs> really? The guys on that defense have versatility. Always hear that about the Patriots, but the Eagles. That's one of the things that makes them special too. So Teddy, Absolutely. that pass Absolutely. rush eight, nine guys, they come in waves. What else makes it so effective? Yeah, as soon as that bus pulls up on Super Bowl Sunday and they get off of it, the New England Patriots better start protecting their passers. Absolutely. Because they're coming after the quarterback in various different ways. Here's a defensive back coming from the defensive left right here. You see the shift of the defensive line to get everybody down, catches them off in play action. Well-timed call by Schwartz, the defensive coordinator. A little bluff blitz by the linebacker. Just drop back a little bit. 
Freeman's a little bit late on the protection. He can't handle, he can't handle him, and he makes the sack. So you got DBs, you got safeties, okay. and you know what? They got this okay. guy named by the name of Fletcher Cox. He will just bull you when it's a four-man rush. Also, they can do it with four. They can send a linebacker. They can do it with defensive back, Susie. So you don't know where it's coming from. I know everybody says just send four. You got to get them with four. But they do change it up at times. And if those subtle change-ups can get a pressure on Tom Brady, causing a strip sack, yep. causing a third-down conversion where they get off the field, that would be big for the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, it's funny that you used bus because I talked to their quite famous offensive line coach yesterday who, who said the key for the offense, like throw yourself, like you're throwing yourself in front of a bus. Do anything to keep, you keep Tom Brady right. protected. Right. Absolutely. And if you watch this team, if you watch this team in the playoffs throughout the year, they get pressure in the face of quarterbacks. And right. that's what you have to do to Tom Brady is get pressure in his face. Don't allow him to step up and be comfortable. Right, they they want him to see the pressure, Absolutely. not just feel the pressure, because he is so good at moving when he just feels it coming. The around. greatest of all time. No doubt, this is the critical and marquee matchup of the game. It's something really fun to look forward to. Again, we don't ahead. Talk. I mean, I don't. Kirk Cousins is here. Do you think?